Hi folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Sales Navigator Alerts to create a routine that will allow you to consistently get more replies from your prospects, generate more meetings and close more deals. And make sure to watch this video till the end because I will associate you my secret LinkedIn social selling techniques that you can also use to put your LinkedIn lead generation on autopilot. So the first question is how to get the alerts. So how to get the alerts here on your Sales Navigator homepage. So you can see here I'm on this URL, Sales Navigator homepage, and I have all these alerts here on leads and accounts. And this alert will only uh, be sent to your account if you create lead or account list. So for that, you can first search for the leads or accounts uh, you want to, to track. For example, here, let's say we want to um, target founders of SMBs in San Francisco. And let's say we want them to uh, be mentioned in the news. I will then here click on select all, save to list, create a new list, name them founder SF, for example. And then since that moment, after I put them in the list, they will appear here on my alerts and every time for example they share a post or they are mentioned in the news this alert will appear on my feed you can do exactly the same thing for accounts so you click here on account filter to make an account search same thing let's make a quick search here we're going to look for small companies in the us that are currently hiring we want them Yes, to have senior leadership changes in the last three months also. Here we have like 50 results. Same thing, select all, save to list, create new list, and say US startups hiring. And then here, same thing, I will go back to home. And then from now on, these accounts will appear here on my alerts. And every time like they share a post on LinkedIn or there is a, an alert, on their activity, it will appear on my alert feed here. So there's another place on LinkedIn Sales Navigator where you can find uh, account alerts. It's directly within your account list. So here you can select your account list and go to growth alerts. And here you will see some information about movements, especially on a uh, headcount. Uh, let's say here, let's take that one. You can say ABB is prepared for growth. Job openings have surged in the last three months. And here we can click here. You can go directly to uh, the account page and see that in the last six months, the headcounts have grown uh, 9%. So this is a sign that the company is growing and maybe this is the right timing to contact, to contact them because they are in a growth phase and they may have the budget to pay you. Uh, the nice thing is that the um, LinkedIn also gives you a lead recommendation. So it will not always be super relevant, but at least you get an idea here and you also have some ideas for um, your icebreaker and your messages because you can see, for example, that this person has been recently hired and you have one mutual connection. So these are two things that you can use in your first message when you reach out to that person saying, oh, I noticed that you just um, been recruited by this company. We have that connection in common. Information that you can leverage to increase your chances to get a reply. As you can see here, most alerts will be about headcount and account growth. You also have this tab, risk alerts. On this tab, you will see the companies in which the account is shrinking. So it might not be the right timing to contact them or if they are your clients, you should pay attention to them because they might drop your product or your service. If you want different kind of information on your accounts, you can head back to the Sales Navigator homepage here. And here you will be able to select all your accounts or a specific list here. Let's select, for example, US software companies hiring. So this one is empty. We'll select all accounts to get uh, more alerts. And here you will be able to filter on different kinds of uh, alerts. Account growth, new decision makers, account updates, suggested leads or account risk. So on account growth, you will get the alert we already seen before. So on the headcount movement, new decision maker, you will see uh, people that have recently been hired in strategic positions by these companies. This is 
uh, good opportunity for you to reach out to, the, to these people. For example, if they got a new head of marketing, this new head of marketing will be more likely to hire new agencies or maybe buy new products. So this could be the right timing to contact these people. And the good thing about this alert feed is that you can save these leads into a specific lead list directly from the interface. So let's say here, I want to contact uh, this new vice president of sales and strategy. I can click on save here and create a new list, new IS sales, for example, and then I can save this list and uh, contact them later. So then after new decision makers, we have account updates. In this category, you will find all the social activities of the LinkedIn company pages. This will uh, be a good way to follow the company activities and news. And let's say here, I have this company that I've uh, shared uh, a news on the, on the company page. So I can check the news here. I see they organize an event. I can like the post, comment the post. And if I already know who to contact in the company, I can maybe send the link of that post or mention that post in my message saying that, oh, I noticed the, the event that you'll be organizing next week. I think I will attend, etc., and start um, a conversation on this topic. That's a, a really, a really great way to break the ice or to follow up. So then we have suggested leads. And in this category, LinkedIn will show you uh, leads that work at the accounts you saved in your account list and that have viewed your profile. So they might be the person that you want to reach out to if you try to enter into that account because they have already seen your face and they know who you are. And same thing, you can click on save and potentially add them to a list to contact them later. After that, we get account risk, but in this category, you will find the, um, the alerts on headcount shrink that I've already shown you before. One thing I didn't show you at the beginning is that you also have a summary of all of the alerts in the um, account pages. And here you have the same filters. So here basically you have um, a live feed of everything that is happening in a company. So growth, risk, account update, new decision makers, new hires. And basically let's say you've been given a list of companies by your head of sales, for example, and say, okay, you, you need to close, um, these 20 companies, uh, this quarter here, you have ideas on the icebreakers you can use the people you can contact. So this is a great way to start getting information, getting to know the account and see who could be the, the best decision makers, uh, to contact in this account. Okay. That was for the account alerts. Now we're going to take a look at the lead alerts. So you can either select all your leads here or select a specific lead list. Here, we're going to select this list. And again, we are going to have three type of alerts. So the first one is career changes. You can see who are the leads among your lead list that recently taken another position. Career change like this is always a great opportunity to reach out because when you get into a new company, you want to prove your worth and you are going to try new things, maybe hire new agencies, hire new freelancers, buy new products. And this is a yeah, good timing. Then you have uh, lead news. Here you can see if your prospect have been mentioned in the news lately. So here you get all the news and you can click on view article and LinkedIn will lead you directly to the web page that is mentioning your lead. Super great way to reach out, send the link of the article or mentioning the article, say congratulations. This is a great way to either break the ice, sending a first message or follow up. Let's say you send the first message to your, to your prospect. He didn't reply. You can follow up using this information and show your prospect that you care about his situation, the situation of his company. You are following the news. Basically you show that you are doing your homework and you have uh, the will to create a real relationship uh, with them. So that's good information to, to leverage if you want to create new relationships or um, follow up on your leads. Same thing with leeches. Here's my favorite because it's super easy to use. Here you have basically all the LinkedIn posts that are shared by, by the leads in your lead lists. So super simple. You go here, you click on view, you check the posts, you like the post, you comment the post, and then you here visit the profile and here you can click on 
connect if you are not connected yet to send a connection request or you can send a message if you have already connected to this person. So talking about prospecting routine, what you can do is pick a day in your week. It can be uh, the Monday, for example, and just go through all the alerts and then take the necessary actions. You see Damien here, boom, you like the post, you comment the post, you send a message. And then you go to all that list like this. You don't even need to think about follow-up ideas because the reason for outreach is already on the feed. So you just have to execute. You don't even have to think, you know? You can view, like, comment, message, like, comment, message, like, comment, message, like this. And you can do, you know, hundreds of leads like that, uh, even per day, if you want. So that's a good way to send super qualitative uh, follow-ups and first messages. And that's basically why you want to use Sales Navigator alerts and why they are efficient. It's because they are always giving you a good reason for outreach. So instead of saying, hi, happy to connect, this is my product, this is my service, which is super lame. Everyone receives that kind of messages every day and nobody replies to that anymore. You want to find triggers and use that triggers to mention them in your messages. And that way you will differentiate yourself from 99% of the prospecting messages that are sent out there and your reply rate will dramatically increase. I will now show you all the social selling techniques that you can use on Sales Navigator to improve your reply rate. So I am on a Sales Navigator search right now and I will show you how to set up your filters so your search results give you super good reasons for outreach to contact your prospect and to build your uh, prospecting sequences. I call them the icebreaker filters because they are filters that you can use that will give you a list of leads and also will give you the reason for outreach on top of that. You can find them in this section here, recent updates. And here you will see change jobs, posted on LinkedIn, mentioned in the news. And basically, if I check here all these filters, I basically have a list of leads and I also have the reasons to contact them. And uh, LinkedIn will put that uh, in the blue sections here. Basically, everything that you see in blue here are uh, reason for outreach. This guy has been recently hired. I can use that in my message. We have material connection. I can use that in my message. Two recent posts on LinkedIn. I can use that in my message. Mentioning the news. I can also use that in my message as well. You have two other uh, filters you can use for that, which are in the buy and intent section. Following your company and view your profile recently. Same thing here. You can send a message saying, oh, I see that you recently started to following uh, our company page. Are you interested by our product, our service? This is a good reason for outreach. And the, the profile view is a good reason for outreach as well, because uh, the prospect know your face and might be interested by what you have to sell. So you can make your searches and uh, use these filters to have a list of leads and a reason for, for outreach on top of that. But the best thing to do is to make this kind of searches and then save the search. Because here we have, uh, there is not a, like a specific time frame for mentioning news posted on LinkedIn, change jobs, etc. It can be like one month ago or more than that. If you save search and you go to your new save search result every week here, for example, I save the search and here it means that I have 144 people, new people that match my search criteria since last week. So if I use these search filters here, and I combine them with search searches, it means that there are 144 people here that have recently in the past week changed jobs, posted on LinkedIn, or have been mentioned in the news, or followed my company, or view my profile. That way you get the list of leads, you get the reason for outreach, and you get timing with you. So you send the right messages at the right person at the right time, and this will guarantee a good reply rate. Let's say I've uh, use here this filter posted on LinkedIn. I go to my safe searches, I get new results, I click on my new results, and here all these people, I can send them a message mentioning their last LinkedIn posts, which I have my published three days ago. So the memory will be super fresh in their mind, and so you send a message on a relevant topic that is super fresh in, in their mind. So here, this is a good way yeah, to dramatically increase your, your reply rate on your, on your prospecting messages, and Differentiate yourself from all the bad uh, prospecting messages we all receive every day. And that's how, guys, how you use LinkedIn Sales Navigator alerts to generate leads. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to know more about how to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator and how to get the most out of it, you can watch the video that will appear just right here. I wish you a great day and I'll see you in the next one.
Bye-bye.